from your hyper local weather source. This is your Norcast weather update. As a medical director, I work closely with all our providers as well as the nursing staff to ensure we provide top-notch quality care for all our residents. Seeing every resident achieving their goal and being satisfied with our care gives me a lot of pride to be part of the team of preferred care at Epsicon. Happy Thursday, everyone. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. We are dry for right now, but as we continue through the rest of this evening and into the overnight hours, we're going to be seeing a significant amount of moisture rolling in. So if you are out late tonight or if you're an early riser and you get out there early, you're going to be running into our first round of moisture that'll be rolling towards our area. It's still well down to the south, but using that cold front as a train track or a conveyor belt, that moisture is going to slowly roll in. Again, we're not really expecting too much in the way of thunderstorm activity, maybe a little bit of some thunder and lightning, but really the most important thing is going to be how heavy this rain is going to be. The uh, uh, rain rates with some of these showers are going to be impressive. We're going to be racking up a quick two to three inches for a couple of spots uh, over a very short period of time. Some tropical showers on the way. Looking at our muggy meter, today was a bit more comfortable. Those dew points fell just slightly, but we are back up to very uncomfortable conditions for the next couple of days. The dew points back up into the 70s and we're going to stay that way into next week plus we're actually going to turn up the heat as well so our actual air temperatures are going to be significantly higher for the start of next week if you think back to the past few days we've seen those temperatures getting up to maybe the mid 90s and that pushed the heat index up towards about 102 105 for a number of days next week we will see the actual air temperature getting into the upper 90s with all of that humidity so we are going to very very easily see that heat index get back up into the low triple digit territory for next week. Look at Monday, 105. I think Tuesday is probably going to be our hottest day of the week uh, with those uh, heat index numbers closing in on maybe even 108, 1010. It's going to be very uncomfortable for next week. Our rain chances roll in uh, late tonight into early tomorrow morning and then throughout the day Friday, we're just going to see multiple chances for heavy rain and a lot of moisture for a very short period of time. It's a good thing. We could use the moisture. A couple of those showers want to hold on until maybe uh, Saturday afternoon and then after that we're back to just our scattered showers for next week, that heat driven activity. Here's the setup. We have this low pressure down to the south that is slowly working its way back up towards our area, pushing a lot of moisture up ahead of it. So by tomorrow afternoon, we're already dealing with a few rounds of kind of heavy rain. Things clear out during the overnight hours. And then as we see that low move in for Saturday, we'll be seeing a little bit of moisture on the way. I think the first half of your Saturday still will be a little bit unsettled, but then by Saturday afternoon and into the evening, we'll sort of settle down. As far as rain rates are concerned, this is a true blue tropical rain that we are talking about. And what that means is it kind of just feels like the sky opens up and you see buckets of rain very quickly over a short period of time. I think that by Saturday night we could easily rack up three, maybe even four inches of rain for a couple of spots. Now it's not everybody. It's not one blanket of rain that's going to roll over the entire region. Some spots are going to get robbed and not see any of that moisture, but the people who do see that rain, they're going to notice that it is heavy rain and it's kind of in and out relatively quick. You might see multiple rounds of it, but really it's going to be a lot of rain, a lot of moisture over a very short period of time. Looking at that seven day forecast, we are cranking up the heat for next week. Uh, please, please try and take it easy as best you can. And then next week, we'll see another round of moisture on the way, particularly midweek, another chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.